Hi students, um, we're back with this video to practice pronunciation today. Um, again, we're thinking back to pronunciation of some of the contractions in spoken English. And when is that um, contraction being used? How is the sound of it? Um, so that we can better recognize the reduced form of the contraction um, in spoken English. So there's another video on the channel about can and can't. There's another video about will and won't and how those contractions are pronounced and when they are used. Today we're going to be focusing on have, has, had, haven't, hasn't, and hadn't. Um, it's always important for us to think about when are we going to be using the contraction. When should we use the contraction? Truly for speaking, I'm almost always hearing it in the reduced contracted form. Um, for writing, I see the contraction 90% of the time. The time that I don't see the contraction is in very formal academic writing where it's considered um, incorrect to be using the contraction. However, daily life, daily writing, um, email to my boss, even something that I'm preparing for the director of the school district, I would be using the contraction in my writing. It's considered acceptable for everything except the most formal written. Um, we've already talked about formal and informal. Jumping right in with I have being pronounced I've. I've. I've been traveling. I've been traveling. I've gone to the store. I've gone to the store. I've. You have becoming you've. You've. You've been a good friend. You've done the work already. She, he, and it is much easier because of that apostrophe S that we hear as is all the time, except here the apostrophe S is representing has. She's, he's, it's. She's been my friend. She's been my friend for a long time. He's gone to the store. He has gone, not he is gone. It's been a long time. It has been. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I've been thinking about traveling. You've been, you've been such a good friend to me this year. He's, she's, it's. A little more difficult when we come to we have becoming weave, weave. The E becomes a lot longer, weave. We've seen him before. We've been attending class. I know we've been busy. I know we've been practicing some difficult grammar, but it's important that you've been improving. They have becoming they've, they've. Think about the word wave or gave. It's sounding like a rhyme with wave and gave, they've. They've been good friends. They've lost their money. They've lost their money. I don't know what they've been doing. I don't know what they've been doing. Now when we come to the negatives with have not and has not becoming haven't and hasn't. I haven't been going. He hasn't been attending. You haven't gone there before. It hasn't been very long. When we put this into the past, had not becoming hadn't, hadn't, I hadn't seen her, I hadn't, hadn't. 
My D and my T are both held in, they're not released. So you're not hearing a strong hadn't. You're hearing hadn't, hadn't. I hadn't seen her. She hadn't been living in Fargo. They hadn't gone to Chicago. It hadn't been a good vacation. In the past, using had, you'd, she'd, he'd, we'd. These ones are not too difficult for our pronunciation. They'd, I'd, I'd is a little more difficult. I'd been there, I'd, I'd been there, I'd, I'd been there. Especially I'd is more difficult because depending on what letter starts the word following the I'd, the D almost disappears completely. For example, in I'd been, I'd, I'd been, the D is almost completely gone in my pronunciation. You don't hear I'd, space, been. You hear I'd been, I'd been. But the most difficult, I think, is it had, which becomes it did. It did. It did. It had been a long week. It had been a long week. It had broken after the accident. We hear this. It did. It did. It did. It did. It did. It would be better if you would go home. It had been. It had finished. The movie. It had already finished. It had already finished. How are you feeling so far? Take a break if you need to, and then come back. When we come to our question form, using have or using has in the question form. When have you? When have you gone? When have you? Who have you been talking to? Who have you been talking to? Who have you been talking to? How have you been? How have you been? How have, how have you been? What have you been doing? What have, what have, what have you been doing this month? What have you been doing during the vacation? Where have you, where have you gone? Where have you been? And why have you, why have you, why have you, why have you done this to me? Why have you done this to me? Now, a note here that these are only spoken reductions. These are never written as contractions. Never, 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 never written as contractions. These are pronunciation reductions. When have you been? Who have you seen? How have you, fe how have you felt? What have you been doing? Where have you been living? Why have you done this to me? The last one to talk about with question form is has, when's, when has she, when's she, when's she going? When's she been? When's she been to Chicago? Who has he? Who's he been talking to? Who's he been talking to? How has she done? How's she done? How's she done? How's she done? What has he been thinking? What's he been thinking? What's he been thinking? Where has she been living? Where's she been living? Where's she been living? And why has he, why is he, why is he gone? Why has he been going there? Here I feel like the top five can be spoken or written. But this last one with why is, why is, why has he been there? I think is only spoken. I don't often see this um, reduction made into a contraction.
Okay, so to finish up and review here, I've, I've been, I've been going, you've, you've been going, we've, we've been traveling, they've, they've been practicing, he's, he's been thinking about, she's, she's been taken care of, it's, it's been, it's been a long day. Haven't, I haven't been. Hasn't, she hasn't gone. Hadn't, we hadn't been practicing. And this very difficult pronunciation with it had. It had been. It had been. It had been five years since I had seen her. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling after this quick practice. Um, again, we're just thinking about that pronunciation for improving our listening understanding. Um, also, let me know in the comments if there's any other pronunciations that you would like to be practicing. Um, what else? Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when there are new videos. And then we'll see you soon. Bye.